So uh, we have another question. Uh, Michael's asking, is there an equivalent in Zen uh, to mandala practice in Vajrayana? Mandala practice, like the mandala offering? I guess it doesn't say anything else about which mandala practice they're speaking if, about. If it's like, like, like the mandala offering in Nundro in the preliminary yeah. practice. Well, it's really um, of deities, uh, visualization, perhaps. Uh, yeah, mandala, the deities, and visualizing mandalas. Is any of that in Zen? Can we clarify the question? Oh, just about the visualization of mandalas or deities, this kind of thing that appears okay. so much in yeah. Vajrayana. Okay. I guess the yeah. person is if it's about, asking about that. Okay, if it's the mandala offering, I would just say making offerings to Buddhas is a big part of Zen in general, even without a mandala. The mand visualizing deities, um, yeah, uh, not not so much. Um, it's it's so direct, and there is a little bit like maybe a sort of kind of Vajrayana principle. There is is in early Chan, it was kind of seen that the um, that the abbot of the monastery was like the deity. So it's a little like guru yoga in that way. In, in early Chan, um, for example, in, in one of the early um, writings about kind of setting up the monasteries, uh, attributed to Bai John, I think, he says, um, in Zen, we, um, we don't have a Buddha hall. And, and of course, in modern Zen, they have, a, they have a Buddha hall, which is where you do the chanting and the, it's the main shrine hall. And then a Dharma hall for Dharma talks. But in this early treatise, it says, we don't need a Buddha hall because we just have a Dharma hall. And when the, when the abbot sits up on the altar, that's the Buddha. So um, I think there's, there's that principle uh, in early, early Chan and, and throughout. Um, and also each person being the Buddha themselves. And I think that partly comes through monastic decorum and practice of um, especially Soto Zen really emphasizes like dignified uh, ac action in every action. So everything throughout the day becomes ritualized in the Zen monastery. So at the way you move your hands and feet and everything is an expression of Buddha nature. So in, in that way, one is becoming the Buddha by acting as Buddha. There's that principle in, in Dogen Zen. Mm -hmm. 